I'm half Egyptian and it's I'm actually really sh** at being half Egyptian. Just taking my camel ride up to this viewing point to see the pyramids. Feel a bit less of a man right now like. What's happening in Sabalak here from Cairo in Egypt or to be specific from the Great Pyramids of Giza. As some of you may already know I'm half Egyptian and it's I'm actually really sh** at being half Egyptian and it's taken me 24 years to finally come and see these things. But we're here now, so that's all that matters. So you join me here now from the rooftop of the Guardian Guest House in Cairo. This is where we're staying and it's got a perfect view from the rooftop of the pyramids. And we actually also have a view from our room as well. We arrived here late last night from a taxi driver from the airport who was an absolute maniac who loved these tunes. It looks something like this. <laughs> Right, so, plan for today, what we're going to do today, it needs really no explanation, we're going to go over there, aren't we? Let's be honest. Right, so we made it to the pyramids now. For the ticket took a little bit of time, but we're there now. We've got our friend Mohammed here giving us the tour of the place. Good morning. So all here. Come on, to switch back to the iPhone vlogs for just now. As you can see, I'm on a camel with the pyramids in the background. I'm petrified about carrying my camera on the camel, but I'm also petrified about being on the camel to begin with. <laughs> but it's getting easier, I suppose. Charlie seems to be doing a good job. He's a good boy, or as you say in Arabic, well it's shatter. Shatter. And we've got... Well, I'd quite. Just taking my camel ride up to this viewing point to see the pyramids. Little known fact that there's actually nine pyramids, not three, as you can see in the background there. We're up at this viewing point, and it's absolutely fantastic. You see the pyramids in the background there, and then over there, you've got the view of Cairo behind you as well. I have to say, I was a bit petrified when I first got on the camel, and I was a bit nervous, but that's because I'm a big bag. Charlie's actually seemed to be treating me all right. He's not going too fast and I'm actually quite enjoying riding Charlie. I think it now might be time to jump back onto Charlie and head further down. And there it is in its glory, the Great Pyramid, the main one, the OG, the bad boy. Now time to say goodbye to Charlie. Bye bye Charlie! Oh. Hi Charlie. Bye, Charlie. See you later. See you later, alligator. Thank you. Now there's some conspiracy theories about this Great Pyramid. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist myself, but the exact coordinates of the middle of that pyramid are to nine digits exactly the same as what is the speed of light in meters per second. Spooky, eh? Now I don't know how the ancient Egyptians would be able to walk that one out, but it'd just have to be a mystery, won't it? We can't forget the Great Pyramids, brothers and sisters as well, can we? Over there. And right there. I honestly can't believe it's took me 24 years and about 15 visits to Egypt to finally come and see these things. It's absolutely mind blowing when you come and see them. I also can't believe it's took me this long to find out there's actually nine pyramids instead of the three. I knew there was more than three, but I didn't realize it was actually nine. You learn something new every day. I hope the stabilisation on the iPhone vlogs there from my footage on the camel isn't too shaky as well. Obviously the camera doesn't have a great deal of suspension so I can't really do anything about that. Also, oder ist ein 
Heading up to see the Sphinx now, and it is warm. And there he is, in all his glory. Absolutely everybody is walking about around here with selfie sticks that are at least 10 feet long. And I swear to God, it's making my Canon camera feel a bit less of a man right now, like. The Sphinx also appears to be a man of many women, as you can see. A lot of folk keep trying to get photos of them kissing them. Not just a man of many women either, it turns out. A man of many men as well. Oh no, sorry. Look at this one here. Mr. Ackerbag. Very YouTube, I hope you enjoyed my tour of the pyramids and also of the Sphinx on Camelback. We got the standard tickets to come in here. There were 240 Egyptian each, so that's roughly that's 12 pounds if you're if you're in the UK. Even the tour guides recommend to not bother to get any of the extra tours, you know, inside the pyramids or inside any of the tombs or anything down here. They say it's backbreaking and also it's just not worth it. It's over, overpriced and it's really not worth it until you don't get to see much. If you are a student, however, and you want to come here, then rem remember to bring your student card and you'll get half price. You know, you get it for 120 Egyptian rather than 240. It's definitely worthwhile. The camel rides were definitely worth it as well. You'll get them once you come in here. Folk will just approach you and ask you if you want them. The tour guides and the people who run the camels say they won't ask for a tip, but realistically, the minute you go off the camel and it's finished, they're going to ask for 200 Egyptian pounds. So just bear that in mind. You can choose not to pay it if you want, but I don't think they'll be happy with you. However, I will say it's definitely worth doing the camel rides. It was 100% really good fun, and I was petrified to go on it to begin with, but after a few minutes, I was absolutely fine. It's actually really good fun. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. So remember to smash that subscribe button down below. Yeah, subscriber button, whatever. A subscribe button. <laughs> Kyra slash Gizo. Gizo? Or to be specific, from the gate pyramids of Giza. With a taxi driver that was an absolute maniac driving down the roads. Oh no, f*** that. I also can't believe that it took me. Oh no, that's the. It's got in the bloopers. So that's something you learn about. Yeah. And we're just gonna head up to it now with these. Oh, that's f***ing Realistically, they're gonna ask for 200 Egypt. 200. Ah!